Try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you guys? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. How are you today? How was your day? What did you do today? I had to go to work. Oh, really? What do you do at work? Um, I'm... Uh... Coordinadora de proyectos. Ah, project coordinator. Project coordinator. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Project co coordinator. Like that. Project coordinator. Ah, okay. That's cool. And what kind of projects do you coordinate? About con construction. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I'm an architect. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Ah, nice. That's a very good career. Hello, Ronald. How are you? Hello, Ronald. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. How are you? Very I'm sorry. Good. I'm sorry. It's my laptop is very slow. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. We are going to be looking at the first activity in yesterday's class. We looked at this one right here. We're going to start with a little review, and then we will practice in pairs. Uh, Bribeth is going to be Anne, and Ronald is going to be Sue. First, let's watch the video than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to... Exp okay, go ahead. Bribeth is Anne and Ronald is Sue. Hey, um, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? <laughs> it looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse price. me, how much is this price. jacket? Price. Price tag. It's what four hundred ninety nine. Well, you like to three 
it on. Try. 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 Try it on. Try it on. Thanks. Oh no, that's okay, but think thanks anyway. You're welcome. All right. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna switch roles. Ronald, you are Anne, Bribet, you are Sue. Look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It's like warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try it on? Oh no, thanks. Okay, but uh, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Excellent, excellent work. Good pronunciation. All right. So this activity, we were looking at this activity yesterday, and you guys wrote a similar conversation here in the discussion forum. So today, I would like for us to move forward, and we're going to look be looking at section number 3.9. In section 3.9, the instructions are, look at the following pictures. What are these things made of? Identify each one and use the words from the list. So we're going to look at this right here. For example, A is bracelet so obviously we put a plastic bracelet right so here you're going to write the word plastic you're looking at the material okay do you have any questions in regards to the vocabulary that we see in this section is everybody here in this section right here? Yes. Okay, let's look at this vocabulary. The first one, repeat after me. Cotton. Repeat please, cotton. Cotton. Cotton, cotton. is algodón. Cotton. 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 cotton is algodón. Cotton. Uh, gold. 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 Oro. Oro. Leather. 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 Right, it's cuero. Plastic. 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 Right, plastic is plástico. Rubber. 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 Rubber is hule. Silk. 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 Silver. 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 Wool is lana. All right, one more time. Cotton. One more time. Cotton. 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 Gold. 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 Leather. Leather. Plastic. 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 Rubber. 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 Silk. Silk, silver, 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 and wool. 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 That's right. Wool. Uh, at this moment, do you have any questions referring to the meaning of these vocabulary words? Do you have any questions? No. Okay. At this moment, what you are going to do is you're going to work in pairs and you are going to identify uh, the material that these things are made of. 
Are you ready? I'm ready. going to I'm going to activate so that everybody can share your screen. Everybody can share your screen so you can help each other. Ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Teacher. Hi, uh, Joanna. Eh, yo estoy todavía trabajando, así que no voy a poder estar 100%, pero ya voy a terminar. Ok, ok. Ahorita me metió a una sala y no sé si le voy a poder ayudar a mi compañera. O ok. Compañero. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, este es uh, guys aquí está Karen Stephanie okay, okay. hi Karen um hi. the floor is um wool seda no seda lana 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 silk es creo seda a wool tie sería Uh, uh, eh, silk tie una, una corbata de seda y ajá, dos... por eso, bueno, una corbata de seda a, a silk, aquí sería a silk tie silk tie, ¿verdad? ajá ajá en los calcetines oh. serían de co eh, wool. cotton o wool eh, wool porque la camisa tiene que ser de, de algodón de algodón Entonces, este sería este es Wool. wool sock. Eh, uh -huh. La de cuero sería leather. Leather. A, a leather. Leather. A leather jacket. Yeah. Uh, uh, Karen. ¿Quieres hacer los últimos dos? La... <risa> Número C. Uh -huh. Es coat. Y, y la siete es silver. Y la ocho es rubber. Rubber books. Sí. Okay. Ahí está. Solo quiero ver eso de mí. Hello. Hello, Ingrid. How are you? Hello, teacher. All right. We're going to go ahead and check. Uh, let me have Celia, number two. What is your answer? Okay. Ingrid Vanessa, number two. Uh, gold ring. Very good. A gold ring. Thank you. Uh, Herson number three. 
So yeah, silk. Silk tie, very good, thank you. Francisco, number four. Uh, a wool, a wool sock. Wool socks. Uh, thank you. Uh, Daniel, number five. Okay. Uh, leather jacket. Leather jacket. Uh, let me have Elise, number six. Okay, can somebody help Elisa, please? Uh, silk. I don't so, know. <laughs> silk shirt? It's cotton. Cotton, okay. Cotton, cotton. cotton. algodon, cotton shirt, okay. Uh, cotton, okay. Thank you. Let me have uh, Alma, number seven. Till their earrings. <laughs> Silver earrings, excellent. And the last one is going to be Marvin Pineda. Okay, Josman. Rubber. Huh? Rubber. 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 Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, everybody repeat, please. Plastic bracelet. Plastic, Plastic bracelet. bracelet. Gold ring. Gold, gold ring. ring. Gold ring. A uh, tie. A tie. A tie. A tie. A tie. A tie. Okay, a silk tie. Uh, wool okay. socks. A wool, wool socks. A wool socks. Wool socks. Um, a leather jacket. A, a leather, leather jacket. jacket. Cotton shirt. A cotton shirt. A cotton shirt. Silver earrings. Silver, Silver rubber boots. Rubber, rubber, rubber boots. boots. Okay. At this moment, does anybody have questions related to this vocabulary, uh, related to the pronunciation, uh, related to the grammar? Herson, yes. Tell me, Herson. Sí, eh, teacher, yo tengo una duda. Eh, huh. La vez que la vez pasada que explicó del tis, tos, tau, tres, o sea, eh, donde aparece un cara que dice plural, singular, plural. Yes. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia o de, de las palabras? Ah, o sea, okay. para armar una oración y todo eso. Yes, of course. Eh, vaya, this es para singular. Digamos que tú estás hablando eh, este carro. Un carro, right? Tú decís, this car. This car, este carro. Eh, si tú dices, por ejemplo, esta casa. This house. ¿Verdad? O esta tele. This television. Right? Porque es singular. Pero si tú dices ya plural, por ejemplo, estos zapatos, vas a decir these shoes. Ajá, ajá. Eh, en plural, estos libros. These books. Ok. O digamos videojuegos. These video games. Uh, básicamente son como para para, digamos, identificar algo o como, digamos, señalar, señalar algo. ¿Bien? ¿Bien? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Uh, any questions at this moment? 
does anybody have any questions at this moment? No? Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to section, which is section number 310. On section number 310, I'm going to share my screen, and I would like for us to look at this part. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Comparative adjectives, comparisons and preferences. Listen to the video and take notes. Escucha el video y toma apuntes. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Find out its comparative Okay, guys, let's look at this section over here. So, uh, what do we use comparatives for? Cheap. For example, if I say to you, um, if I say to you, Burger King is cheap. Burger King is barato. But if I say to you, Shorty Pan is cheaper than Burger King. Ahí estoy comparando Shorty Pan y Burger King. Shorty Pan es más barato que Burger King. Shorty Pan is cheaper than Burger King. Okay. O old. Digamos, usted dice. Uh, Queen Elizabeth was old, right? La Reina Elizabeth ya estaba anciana. But if I say to you, the Pharaoh, el Faraón, the Pharaoh, no sé si lleva, eh, the Pharaoh of Egypt, el faraón de Egipto, is older, es más viejo, than que Queen Elizabeth. Right? So, estoy comparando el faraón que es mayor o más viejo que Queen Elizabeth. Okay? For example, I can say the U.S dollar 
is new in El Salvador. Right, el dólar es nuevo en El Salvador. But if I say to you, Bitcoin, oops, oops, Bitcoin is newer, newer, Bitcoin is newer than dollar in El Salvador. So, usted lo que va a hacer es escribir tres oraciones, así como les he dado los ejemplos. Usando el, el adjetivo en su forma normal, cheap, y después usar el adjetivo en su forma comparativa. Cheap, old, older, new, newer. Van a usar estos tres adjetivos y quiero que lo escriba acá en el discussion box at a post. Any questions? I have a question. Yes, Ulises. Eh, para convertir el, el, el adjetivo a más, mm -hmm. tengo que ocupar ER. Correct. ER. That's it. Solo le agrega el ER al verbo. Say cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. Solo si el verbo termina en Y, va a cambiar la Y a la letra I, I y de ahí el ER. Ajá. Y si el verbo, el adjetivo termina en una vocal y una consonante, eh, ponga su micrófono en silencio, por favor. Ok, so, si... Si el verbo, ter, el adjetivo termina en una vocal y una consonante, como la I y la G, I es una vocal, G es consonante, se le duplica la última consonante y de ahí se le agrega E, L. Ok. All right. You will have five minutes to work on this and then we're going to check together. We're going to recreate the rooms. Let's go. Uno puede compartir la pantalla. Ya la habilité. Okay, Ingrid and Elise. La tres punto uno. Hi. Hi, se acaba de agregar Karen y Ingrid. Hello. Está bien. La tres punto once, Ingrid. Tres punto once. Sí, de la sección tres.
Uh, no sé si alguien quiere compartir pantalla o la comparto yo. Si puede usted, no sé si, no sé si Ingrid está en eso. Usted compártalo, por favor. Uh, ok. Mm, vaya. Sería barato uh, más y más viejo, ¿verdad? Era el 3.9, dijeron, ¿verdad? 3.11. Ah. Bueno, bueno, eso de chip, uh, el primero era chip. Uh -huh. Lo tenemos que hacer de barato, nuevo y viejo. Uh -huh. de <coughs> Lo que no te dije si eran tres por todo o tres por cada uno. Tres, solo tres ejemplos. Ajá. Podría ser this, dress. This, no, this red dress. If we did that the blue one. Pero no. Ajá. Pienso, pienso que deberíamos poner ejemplos, no sé, un poco más fácil para nosotros en el aspecto de que podríamos comparar una cosa con la otra, por lo menos, eh, ¿Hola? Sí, lo escuchamos. Un, un ejemplo, por lo menos, eh, estos zapatos son más baratos que los Nike, son más caros, digamos una, una pequeña comparación. O por lo menos eh, Pizza Hub es más barata que, que Pollo Campero o viceversa. ¿Algún ejemplo por lo menos así? Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Me parece. No sé. Así como utilicemos las, que, las cosas Digamos, que nosotros conocemos. Exacto. Un vocabulario más factible para nosotros como Pizza Hub es... It's more, it's more cheap, cheap eh, than, than Burger King, o no sé, o, da, o Pollo Campero. Um, sí, pero... Creo que primero tenemos que poner como Pizza Hut is cheap, right? It's cheap. Yeah. Hello. <coughs> nice. Um, um, nice. Era. Let's see. Nice. Sí. Uh, it's nice. O pretty. O big. O digamos, tu casa es más grande que la mía. Your house is bigger than I am. Era old. La otra. Big oh, o digamos Esas eran las tres, no sé si aquí Esas eran las... las tres que tenían que ser Ok, usemos eso, entonces bien Es que esos tres adjetivos dijo Chicha ¿No? uh -huh. no, o sea, Puede ser My grandmother Is older than yours Ajá uh -huh. Is older than me Uh, así se escribe. And mother, yes. Is older than. Uh 
¿Cuál es la otra? Mute. New teacher. This teacher is newer than yours or than my team. Um, my shoes are newer than yours. Listo. Okay, uh, let me have one volunteer, please, that would like to share the examples with the class. Let me have one volunteer that wants to share your examples with the class. One volunteer. Okay, Ingrid, please uh, share with the class your examples. Okay, I can not share the screen, but uh, when chief. That's okay, we can just okay. hear you. Okay, Pizza Hut is cheaper than Pollo Campero. Uh, next is my grandmother, is older than me. And my shoes are newer than the shoes of, of my brother. Okay, perfect, perfect. Very good, good job. Excellent work. Okay, let me have another volunteer that wants to share uh, with the class your examples. Another volunteer. All right, Danielle, let me have your examples. Uh, lo publiqué en el, en el grupo en la discusión uh, pero uh, tenía entendido que no necesariamente tenía que ser algo continuo uh, es un ejemplo que escribimos fue this sofa is old mm -hmm. and this table is older than this sofa mm -hmm. perfect está correcto ok good thank you Daniel um, another example, please, Eolise. Okay. Um, um, Pizza Hut, it's uh, expensive. Mm -hmm. Dan Pollo Campero. Okay. Pizza Hut is more expensive. Okay, it's than, more expensive. It's uh -huh. more expensive. Dan Pollo Campero. Okay. Good. Thank you, Elise. That's okay. great. Okay. Hey, let me have Francisco. Can I have your examples? Uh, hello, uh, yes. And um, my way examples 
is the Samsung is more cheap than iPhone. Okay. Uh, the George Washington is older than George Bush. Okay. And the last, uh, the Bitcoin is more newer than dollar. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Uh, now, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and finish the next, this section. You are going to look at 3.12. This is the last section for unit three. And after that, we're going to check it and move forward with the final exam. Please continue on the next activity. Pero, pero no sé. Ah, pues sí, 3.2 es. Uh -huh. Ahí vale. está, Francisco, compartiendo. Uh -huh. vale, sería. Ah, vale. la, 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 la primera decía cuál, de, cuál vestido, ¿verdad? Es ajá, más bonito. Es más barato. Perdón, no, más bonito. Más bonito. Más bonito, ajá. ajá. El, el amarillo sí. o el verde. Ah, sería prettier. 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 Uh -huh. prettier. Uh -huh. El segundo plan, sí. Correcto. Sí, el segundo dice, eh, bueno, el verde es de... Ay, siempre de me seda. Es seda. de seda. seda. Ajá. Y la seda es, es más, más, más cara. Más cara, que el, más polyester. cara que, el, ajá, que el poliéster. Uh -huh. Sería more expensive, more expensive than. More expensive than, ajá. Correcto. Y ahí las, la otra. La segunda dice, is this blue t-shirt uh, larger, larger than, than, than the red and white one? Sí, correcto. Than, ¿eh? Aquí sí no me quedó claro por qué era larger than y no more larger than. <risa> Pero puede ser que... Mmm, ah, porque por ejemplo aquí arriba era... More more expensive. Expensive. Uh -huh. Porque yo siento que está hablando como de dinero, de, de costo. Y si te fijas aquí, es, es como del tamaño. No sé, el pienso tamaño, que es por eso, pero no sé. Uh, no, 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 pero, pero, pues, eh, pero aquí en la oración, cuando dice more, es más. Ajá, es más. Y aquí lo único que dice es que. Ah. No, bueno, solo dice que la que la camisa esta azul, camisa esta azul, cereza, camiseta ajá. Ajá, azul eh, es larga, no. ajá, es, es, larga que la, es más larga que la, la roja y, y que la rojo, la rojo es, y blanco, ¿verdad? Como está haciendo una punta, ajá. ajá. Que la rojo con blanco, ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y, ajá, es como una pregunta. Por, ah, quizás por lo mismo que es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Le han puesto sí, así sí. Porque, porque de ahí dice, no, the red and white, la rojo con blanco es, es bigger, es más grande. Uh -huh. Y es más grande, correcto. Uh -huh. Puede ser, ajá, quizás por la pregunta. De ahí dice, look at this pant, which one do you like? Better. Eh, sería better. better. Uh -huh. I prefer yeah. the green more stylish than the wool ones. The wool ones. Uh -huh. More stylish thing. Y ah. que era uh -huh. stylish. Eh, estilo. Stylish no será estilo. Mm, no, a ver. Quiero ver. Este. Es elegante. Pero stylish mm -hmm. con, con Y. Uh -huh. Pero es elegante. Puede ser elegante. Ajá, ajá. Ah, okay. Yo prefiero las, dice, las corbatas. No. No, eh, no la, 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 la ropa. Bueno, el, es que todo es algodón. Yo prefiero pero... la, 
pero dice de, de green cotton, pero que no es por banda ni nada, o sea, el, el algodón verde. Algodón yeah, verde. Yes. Esos son más elegantes que, bueno, que, el, que aquí dice que el cotton, que el algodón es, es mucho uh -huh. más elegante que, el, que la lana. Que la lana. lana. ¿eh? La lana. Sí, lana. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y ya. Y sí, quizás sí tiene razón, cuando, cuando se pregunta tal vez sí no se escribe el more, el porque more, more ¿no? es más como de, de afirmación, creo. Ajá. Como hace comparativo y afirma que es más largo, uh -huh. pues, o más caro, etc. Es como de cantidades, pero ajá. hay que preguntarle al uh -huh. Vaya, Y esta sería la, la 312. Sí, 312 sería esa. Bueno. Sí. Este dijo que termináramos. Ok, ahí estamos. Vale. All right, Daniel, let me have number one, please. Daniel. We dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Thank you. Maritza, letter B. Tiene su silencio, tiene su micrófono en silencio. Well, the green one is silk and silk is more expensive. Expensive that polyester. Very good. Eh, la palabra more, la E no se pronuncia. Decimos more. Y expensive, more. la E no se pronuncia. Es expensive. More expensive. More expensive. Very good. Eh, the next one, Alma Verónica, number two. Number two is Serena is this blue t-shirt uh, larger than the red and white and white one very good is this blue t-shirt larger than the red and white one correct letter b elise okay no the red and white one is bigger thank you correct uh, let me have Ada Marilu, number three. Look at these pants. Which one do you like better? Which one? Which ones do you like better? Correct. Ingrid Vanessa, letter B. I prefer the green cotton ones. They're more stylish than the white ones. Perfect. Perfect more stylish than the wool ones is correct. Okay, guys, congratulations, everybody. We have finished section number three. Good job, guys. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and move forward. 
and we are going to be looking at the next section. At this moment, do you have any questions about this activity? Questions about this activity? Okay, now you are going to work on the midterm exam in pairs. You are going to complete the midterm exam in pairs. Listening, fill in the blanks, circle the word, complete the sentence, and reading. You can help each other to complete the exam. Okay, we're gonna change groups, let's go. Porque yo ya lo hice. Ya lo terminó, qué bárbara. Es que me mandaron el mensaje de que tenía que hacerlo esta semana, entonces lo hice el sábado. Okay. Pero no sé si alguien que no lo haya hecho quiere compartir pantalla. Mira, desde el celular estoy ahorita. Marita, ya lo hice también. Uh, sí, ya bueno. <ríe> bueno, una bola entonces. Um, uh, read the email and uh, then check the correct answers. Um, bueno. No sé si le Pero voy a... esa no es de otra sección. Es de la de... Espera, hay otro. Mm, sí, El midterm otro. exam, creo que solo se tiene. No. No. Ajá, solo en el 3 me sale. Mm. Sí, de eso son. Sí. Um... Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ¿por qué no comencé acá? Bueno, no lo hice ni. Es, es cero. Ajá, es cero. Bueno, voy a poner. Bueno, como presentó a su amiga, era Selvis, Los is Friends. Los is Friends, yes. Sí, this last night is Marsa.
Uh, Lucy's math teacher is really good. And there were in the same school. Mm -hmm. And the primero era the first the green shirts. The blue shirt are 25, 29, 5. The green shirt are made of cotton. And size medium. Medium, yes. A Fill on the blanks with the correct form of B. Mm, where are you from, Teresa? I'm from Mexico City. How about you? Is they be in your class the semester? Yes, what is the same Spanish to class? What is your math class like? It's really interesting and the teacher is great. Uh, Maria and Brian from Canada. No, from England. Completely following conversation with simple present. Um, where do you work? I work in a restaurant and I'm a chef. What does he do exactly? He's a pilot for Global Airlines. Where does she go to school? She goes to the University of Colorado. To me. Use the right possessive adjective. Nice to meet you, Rich. And um, what's your last name again? My last name is Parker. It's nice to meet you too. This is my new friend, Elizabeth. Creo que se acabó el tiempo. No sé, me sacó. Sí. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Time is up. Time is up. It's time for us to go. Please continue working on the midterm exam. And if you're finished, you can continue working on unit number uh, un unit number four. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.